Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. My name is Maximo Fo. My name is Maximo Fo Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's get the little pot of greed. Let's put him in his his, his throne up there. Because today we're getting greedy, ladies and gentlemen. We want to pull those cards. Pulling from this stack here, the other half of the Yu-Gi-Oh Fusion Enforcers box. Don't worry, Pokemon cards are mostly every single other episode. I didn't want to be burnt at the stake. So I had to post a different video in between the Yu-Gi-Oh one. I didn't want to go two Yu-Gi-Ohs. We got some Edge Imp Sabers. You know what? Also, um, I noticed in the last video, I kept calling this an Edge Imp Chair. And not I, one person picked it up. A lot of when I mentioned it in the comments as well, a lot of people were like, oh, I had no idea. I did not pick up on that. It looks like a fucking chair, so my brain naturally filled that in to be an R without fully reading it. The human brain is amazing. So please stop calling me an idiot. We've got BRANCH! With an exclamation mark. Ooh, a bunch of face card stuff going on there. Fusion Gate. Predator Plant. Another Predator Plant dinosaur. Uh, and then on the end, lastly, we've got this guy again. He's not bad. He's a couple of bucks. Now, we've opened one. We can have a little bit of information in a lecture. Don't skip! Just wanted to say, when we say we want money cards, and I, I saw a few comments that were like, Damn, he's so greedy, he doesn't actually care about it, he just wants to get those money cards. Let me tell you something. I never plan on actually selling any of this shit, I like, I'm a fucking hoarder. But when we pull something that's worth a little bit of money in a set, the more money it's worth reflects how hard it is to pull, or, slash, and how sought after it is. Pulling the highest money cards is pretty much the equivalent of pulling either the rarest cards or the cards we want to get most excited about. It's got, it goes hand in hand. Of course you fucking want to pull shit that's worth the most money. It means it's the fucking best! It's the most exciting! It's, the, it's usually the hardest and rarest to get. I don't care about it because I'm actually going to sell it. All these prices will go to sh... Well, most of these prices will go to shit before I'd even have a chance to anyway. They reflect the current meta. And the height for the current meta. And prices do change very easily. Fluffle Owl. But right now, we are, we're going for a bunch of certain cards. I don't think I've seen that. Fluffle Dog. These are so cute. I can't believe how adorable the Fluffle set is. Edge Imp Sabers again. And... Baby, what do we got? Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's one of the ones we listed off. He's like five bucks. He's, he's like a five. Well, I mean, currently. I remember again, all the all the prices are in availability and to my immediate community in Australia, and they are in Australian dollars. There will be less to anyone who's thinking I'm talking about American dollars. Check this out. Whoa! Surprise! Midway through, man opens magic pack. Eldritch Moon. I don't even know if this is good. Is it? Is it garbage? It's probably a shit set. What do we get? Let's see if um. Met Ape opens a bunch of magic cards has, has helped me get better at opening magic cards. So, I've learned a lot of things from that comment section. Mainly, you can tell um, the rarity here without having to look um, down here at this, this... So this is a C, but you can see that plain symbol there also means it's common. So, one, two. Ooh, cool cards. We've got three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Oh, now we're into uncommons. So these are the uncommons. Cool, guys! Don't know anything about these cards. Haven't researched this set or whatever. When I next do a large magic opening, I will definitely research the set similar to how I've done with this Yu-Gi-Oh one so I know a bit more about it. And what do we have on the end? Oh, fuck, what? I fucked that up. Oh, we've got the double ad. Oh, this card was the, was the, uh, the rare. Don't know enough about magic, but I assume that was garbage. All right. I, should, um, I saw someone suggest that what I should do with Yu-Gi-Oh is, um, or Pokemon actually, or, or whatever, I should put in the top corner sort of a checklist of what cards we're looking for. And when I get them, I can put a, t a tick next to them. And I was thinking how I can do that. What the fuck? Aren't you a cutie pie? Spellcaster slash pendulum effect. 100, 100. And on the end, Pedaponix, not bad. Predaponix is a good good little meme. Three, four dollars. So yeah, I was thinking a way I could do that was I could have um, sort of a low transparency of like tiny, tiny, like very small, like this big of the cards sort of up and up the top or whatever. All, all the fucking big cards that we're trying to get when we're pulling a set. So when we're doing Pokemon, we could go 
uh, we could do say GX, right? And um, all the GXs and all the, the rares, secret rares and stuff like that. Um, so then anyone who's joining us from whatever episode in or they haven't seen any of the, the, the past stuff, Fluffle Octopus, definitely not a bad pull, Th like three bucks. They could be like, ah, oh, okay, so over the past whatever amount of time Max has got this secret and that secret, but he needs all those. That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a fucking money card. That's not bad. Three bucks, again. So I might try all that in the next video and see what you guys think. Predator pruning, polymerization, fusion recovery, and a final card. Yes! Baby, a fucking double. What the? Old Squiddy. One of the best cards we've got. Now we've got two of them. He is the low end of the top four cards in the set, I think. He's, he's about $10. Our best card we got, I think, was Invoked Ragin, which was like $13, $14. We still have not got... Or maybe we did. I don't think we've got Invoked Mechaba, Magical Meltdown, or Invocation. Invocation is the big $50. Like, that's the big one. Hopefully in time, guys. Um, people also informed me that Yu-Gi-Oh cards, the uh, the rare one always bends like this. The secret rare one, because it's just something to do with the foil in those cards, which causes them to go like that, even when they're inside the packs or whatever. Which sucks, but apparently, you know, just put a bunch of heavy books on top of them, on top of them or whatever. Standard crush the fuck out of them and they should be fine, really. Frack Fur Tiger? About three dollars. It's a hot day today. I am extra sweaty. I am very, very, very sweaty. Dragon is... Oh, okay, that's some bestiality. Well, I mean, he's actually not even human, so I can't say that. Interspecies erotica would be the appropriate term. Homunculus, the alchemy being. I love that word, homunculus. Don't know why I didn't read that before. Uh, that's an okay card for such a random shitty, shitty rare. Uh, elemental hero, Prisma again. And on the end, pr okay, he's not that great. I'm dying. I'm actually dying of sweat. You want a rare shot of me sweating? How's this for a rare shot of me sweating? You know why? Because this fucking light doesn't have a diffuser and I'm an idiot! And it's a very hot day in Australia. But I'm just like, you know what? Oh, this is cool because we've got this light. This light sits here and then the thing's there and my head's right fucking next to it. You know how it goes, guys. We only work with the best equipment over here on Max Mode Fight. Fuck, I just did a face reveal! That sucks, man. Oh, well, I'll still upload it. Now you know. I only look like Max Mofo Games, Max Mofo 2, Max Mofo Collection, Max Mofo. But really, it's all. Ooh, yeah! That is a instant fusion. You want to pull the instant fusions. They're like five bucks. And Predator Plant Chimeraflesia. It's probably like a dollar or some shit. Never heard of it. Look at me. Look. Fucking told you I, I'm literally sweating. I'm just. Help! Hey. Hey, girl. Ooh. Ooh. You like sweat, bitch? You like the sweat of my brow? Ooh. Clint Eastwood. Ooh, the ladies love a hard-working man, you know, working class. I think it's good to sweat, though, you know? Gets out all those horrible toxins. You know, guys? You just want to bleed it all out. Makes you lose weight, all right? What do we got for the end card? We've, uh, fucking Predator Plant Snowden again. Three packs to go. I really enjoy the, uh, the artwork on the front of these. I think it's pretty cool. Look at it. So he's from the current uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! show. Like, I guess, the cartoon that's running. I don't know. Uh, one of the gayest cards in the set again. Then we've got the, the fusion, the fusion, the phoenix of the wing wind blast. And we've got him. Not bad. He's, he's all right. Like I said, three bucks, something like that. Two, three bucks. Two more packs. Can we pull one of uh, the greater cards? We're looking forward to doing so. Please invoke Mechaba. Or we want Magical Meltdown, or we want Invocation. And those are the ones that we want the most, bitch! No! This fucking plant again! Oh, to get your dick trapped in that, am I right, fellas? <laughs> hey, any plant fuckers here? Uh, Alright. 
Last one. Last one. Come on. Come on, baby. Pareto pruning. Summon a monk. And last of all, oh, he's not bad. He's not bad for a final pack. $5 Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. But that brings us to the end. And we didn't, we didn't get any of the top three cards, I don't think. Invoke Mechaba is like $26 to $30. Magical Meltdown, 17, and Invocations, like, 50 bucks. It's a sad day, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it hasn't been too much of a struggle and a depression for you to try to watch some Yu-Gi-Oh! content once in a blue moon. I will be doing some magic. I, I surely will. And I'll be doing lots more Pokemon. Anything you find online or think is cool that you want me to open, let me know. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to get into showing you guys a lot of my f other, my full collection room and some of my pop vinyls and, and teach you a little bit about that soon as well. But thank you guys, my name's Sweaty Mofo and I'll see you in the next video.